Okay. Walker. It's my money pouch, all right. Now, if I only had more of the fillings. That doesn't work. Yes, it's definitely an open wardrobe. A fine example, if I may say so. Shift it. That doesn't work. Hmm. Unseen University. Thermaturgy 101. Failed. Well, it's not little trinkets and paperwork that really count in life. I've got, got, well, I've got a really pointy hat. That's a start. That doesn't work. Of course it's me. Who are you expecting? Death? I really must do some heavy research into this bed. Eight or nine solid hours should be sufficient. That doesn't work. Aha! Portalis Exitus. Or the common doorway. See? I'm not a wizard for nothing, you know. If it isn't young Rayquin. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quiet.
Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, uh dragon? As in the uh, classic fire-breathing, city-toasting... Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny object, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempts to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow, William? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. Hmm. Sex magic. No wonder it's on ice. Ah, let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Um, hello? Oh, you're not in charge here, are you? Oh, 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 oh. oh, I see. Well, that explains the filing system. Look, um, I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see. Oh! Yes. Well, it, it's hard to explain, really. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um... Well, this is wonderful. I never knew I could speak monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? May I take a book from the library, please? Walk, walk. Excuse me? Walk, walk, wee. I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Walk, walk. Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? Walk. A dentist? Halitosis? You want, you want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Walk. Oh! A library card! Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now look, unfortunately, I don't have one, Ape. Ooh! A, a ape pun. Yeah, upon my person. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? I see. Yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. Mm hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Ook, ook, ook. No, I'll come back and get a book later. Ook, ook, ook. Yes, I've given up. No, not, not gibbon, monkey. Ape, oh, damn! <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation.
Why is the librarian a monkey? <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? He's not a... one of them. He's an orangutan. But it's the same thing. No, no, no. Your actual orangutan is one of the great apes, an arboreal denizen of the subtropical rainforest. If you ever want to go far in life, you must learn the value of proper nomenclature. Nomenclature? But what's the difference between calling him an orangutan or a monkey? <coughs> in general terms, the difference is whether you keep your teeth in your head or in your hat. How did it happen? I mean, should we really let our boreal subtropical fauna be the guardians of a major national library? Uh, well, he was human once, of course. What? Really? All part of a magical accident. Very tragic, you see, but there it is. Very embarrassing, seeing him scratch himself in the reference section. Doesn't he want to be turned back into a human? No. Nope. Says he likes the long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in the reference section. I say he just likes running round loose, not wearing trousers. I mean, I would. Hey there, hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick note on the final piece of the demo, sound to light. This is one of those music visualization things where you have to take the disc out and put a music disc in to get some like fancy graphics that plays along to your music. So as I don't have a PS1 right now and the PS2 couldn't read the disc really, I couldn't really show it. Anyway, keep your eye out for the next in the series where we'll be looking at the official PlayStation Magazine number two.